So for today, we're going to be looking at the phenotype plasticity. If you guys don't know, this is the season of the undying ornaments. We're going to be looking at that because it is for sale in the store right now. So if you guys are interested, definitely pick them up. Just be aware that these are 20 bucks each, if I remember correctly, which is pretty wild considering a lot of us got this for just 10 bucks, which again, I think Bungie would win a lot of brownie points with the community if they just let people buy season passes instead of twenty dollars each for just the armor because that's not including like the other stuff specifically like the ornaments and the emotes the finishers all that so it would be in bungie's best interest to do that just because i know the whole sentiment around destiny 2 right now is just kind of dead uh me specifically uh, i can speak for myself i am not playing destiny 2 right now i am mostly playing world of warcraft and final fantasy 14 and some other things here and there so uh let me know what you guys think should bungie re uh release these in this season pass form or should they just not care about what people think let me know in the comments below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you want to keep up with my current content because I do push out quite a bit of content for just one person. So I really would appreciate that. Other than that, let's get into it. So here's the armor. I'm going to be real with you guys. This is such a dope armor set, uh, specifically really for everyone. Uh, I think I don't think everyone, anyone got anything that was super terrible. Uh, the only thing I'm not the biggest fan of is like few pieces here and there that I will talk about. But overall, like, this, these sets are so good that I have like a Vex theme for pretty much all the classes. More Warlock because my Warlock one has such a cool Vex theme. But we'll get into that when we get into that. I also should mention that we will not be doing a class specific video with how I usually do it. Just because uh, if you guys don't know if this is your first video. What we usually like to do is we get pieces of these sets and then make individual sets from those pieces. So for example, the helmet. Uh, would get its own set the chest piece will get its own set and most of the time the class item will be combined with something else just to help out the titans and warlocks because sometimes the warlocks and titans i can't make a set with just their class ability or their class item so that's how i usually do it the reason i'm not going to do that is because it's so vex themed that i'm just going to give you a video of all the sets that i made for my classes so the hunter titan and warlocks will get e each one set that i show you guys and then i'll just go into the game and show you all of the vex theme that we or vex themed pieces that we have and then from there probably make a set or just show you the sets that i've made just because again this is so vex themed that like i think that's the way i'm gonna want to do it instead of trying to make something cool with each of the pieces because a again a lot of these are just vex theme which not i'm not saying you can't use them for like any electrical sets or any like robot sets but it's really the the lines on each piece each like each piece has the lines which i'm not the biggest fan of just because it really dilutes the amount of pieces you can combine it with i mean some people are going to ignore it which is fine but that's why i'm not going to do an individual class set for the for the classes so let's look at these actual pieces so helmet for the hunters i think is pretty cool the cloak i think is one of the coolest cloaks in the game you should definitely pick that up um i think the arms are interesting funnily enough i use the arms for the class specific set that i made for my hunter and then i think the chest piece and boots while super cool and original um are too thematic to vex for me to like combine it with other things i mean you can it's just for me it's always going to be like that's vex i don't know why you're combining it with other pieces when it's just vex uh titans i think the helmet is pretty cool i think the chest piece is the best piece the boots are pretty cool the class item i actually think is really cool and the arms unfortunately is asymmetrical only on the actual like arm because you have that like really big spike I would have preferred if it was the spike was actually on both sides i think that would have been super cool or make the spike a little bit smaller so that way you can have it on both hands i think that would have been cool warlocks helmet is super dope the chest piece is super dope i think the arms are super dope i think all of it is super dope except like maybe the boots i think the boots are the only ones are i'm like it's fine like it doesn't wow me but they're really cool and then the funnily the, funnily enough there are pieces in this set that don't change color let's get into it helmets all of that red like visor color does not change color so you're going to be stuck with that red uh, glow for the warlocks it's like just kind of like a matte finish it's weird um anything white will not be able to change color so the white piece on the chest piece will not be able to change color the white lines are not going to be able to change color and that is pretty much it 
Um, I think the designs on the class items actually don't change color as well, but you can hide it better than pretty much everything else in this set. And overall, I'm, I like this armor set. I love it a lot. I'm really happy with it, but just again, be aware that you're going to be fighting this a lot and, or you're going to be make some cool sets with it because I definitely like the set that I made with my warlock with the, for my warlock. I ended up using the helmet and the class item for the Titans. I think I ended up using the chest piece and maybe the mark. And then for the hunters, I only end up using the, uh, the arms, but the cloak I use so much that I've made it in so many sets. So the cloak is definitely one of the best ones here. As for our shaders. So we're going to be looking at Echoed Anger just because from all the cloth that you can see from Echoed Anger, you're going to see that actually the design is actually pretty, pretty well hidden at the point where I actually don't even see it. So there are going to be shaders that you can actually just hide that design because the, the cloth in this in these sets do have like a design to them, but shaders will actually just cover it up, which is really cool. The only thing again, like you're going to be fighting is just the white lines and the chest piece, the white there in there as well. Other than that, I have really nothing to say about this. Uh, a lot of the colors have a lot of off colors as well, but that's to be expected just because there's a lot of um, a lot of design in this armor set. So nothing too crazy to note. Let me know what you guys think. I am pretty much happy with this armor set. Again, like my only gripe about this armor set is the fact that I really wish Bungie just released all of the armor set as kind of like a like just this just a season pass. Like just have people have the option to buy the season pass so they can level both season passes at the same time so much so that i i don't know at that point like each experience you get like let's say you kill a boss and the boss gives you like twenty thousand experience which is wild um maybe cut the experience in half so that way both season passes can get 10 and 10 or just have it where it's like equal to both where it's like you get 20 20 on each so that way you can level it up at the same time as the original season pass or just have it like 80 20 have it certain percentage so that way the main pass gets the the most experience and then when you're at 100 then actually do it like the other way around where the old season pass gets the higher percentage so that way because after 100 it really doesn't matter so i don't know there's so many great ways to do it and p expecting people to pay 20 bucks for each of the armor sets not including the other goodies that the steam pass had i think it's just kind of um dickish in my opinion and it's also funny because they're probably never going to change this just because of the fact that bungie is hurting for money right now which is completely their fault um they have way too many things too many programs for them to like realistically have open when they're their own like publisher and developer and whatnot so i don't know for me personally uh, it's such a weird at like it's such a weird environment to be a Bungie fan right now just because there's a lot of fans that kind of are hoping for their downfall and there's other fans that are like hopeful that they'll turn it around. I'm like in the both of those like would I would I be happy if they if they fell over under kind of just because I, I'd be free from their fucking grasps. But like my channel is specifically Destiny 2 related and that's like where I'm like I don't want that because I want to keep my channel. But at the same time, I like I would just bump bump back up with another game, like maybe really start going into variety and going for like Warframe, Final Fantasy 14, World of Warcraft, and then start like really branching out to other fashion stuff because I have been thinking about branching out and I've been saying this for almost a year now, but it's this season I think is gonna be make or break for me to be like, okay, now I need to really get into another game. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.